Hey everybody, it's me Lucas Aldi G. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I will be expressing my thoughts on the new LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 Start the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, which is a set to coincide with a new with a sequel to the Clone Wars, which is called the Bad Batch. And this set is i believe the release august 1st perhaps but i think everywhere else it's june i'm not sure and it has 969 pieces and this is a really cool design but i don't know the color scheme of the sand blue looks cool i actually like it but it's not as accurate maybe it would have been better if it was a gray but it, the blue makes it pop out I mean, some shots of that shuttle you could sort of see blue, but eh, it's not the worst choice out there. I still like how the blue pops out. And I think the speeders are pretty good, though I think adding two of them is kind of filler. I would much rather have more pieces added to the shuttle so that the shuttle would be a bit more bigger and have more interior space. As for the minifigures, they're pretty good, though I have some complaints with them. Like, I think that we are definitely missing Omega, who is one of the main characters. It's so annoying that she's not included. That would have been really cool to get. And also, Crosshair is missing his rangefinder that he has. It should have been included there. And I also think that he should have had the what is his regular armor and not the Imperial armor. Could have just saved the Imperial armor for another set. I think that Echo, it's pretty good, though I think he should have had a cloth piece instead of the print and I also think he should have a different hand than just this gray hand to, re to represent his little um, screw hand or whatever it's called. I think tech looks pretty good aside from that helmet which is just so oversized and I don't know I don't entirely like that it just looks kind of weird and Wrecker mm, I think he's okay but I think he needs to be bigger maybe a, a different helmet but it's all right. I think Hunter's pretty good. I don't have much complaints with him, but if you actually look at the pictures, you could actually see you get hair pieces for some of the characters. I think that Hunter, he should have had a different hair hat combo than just that one hair piece they use for like the Loki figure. I think they should have given him like a hair bandana combo to make it more accurate. But other than that, I don't have much else to say. I think the set's pretty good, though there are I have a few complaints here and there. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.